value trades. Welcome back, traders. To those unfamiliar with the financial markets, the words pips, points, and ticks may sound like something out of a Dr. Seuss book. Let's try to demystify these important measurements by starting with the most important one, the pip. A pip is short for percentage in point and is a reference for FX traders to communicate the difference in price movement of a currency pair. A pip in FX trading is expressed in most currency pairs as the fourth digit to the right of the decimal place in a currency pair's price. As individuals or tourists, we are familiar with the buy and sell prices of foreign exchange. We are often dismayed by the vast difference in buying and selling back foreign currencies to the banks or FX exchanges. Often the difference is measured in dollars or cents. As traders in the FX market, we have buy and sell pricing as well, but the difference between the two is completely different. We work in small fractions of currencies and we call these pips. In this example, we are showing a chart on Euro dollar where the Euro is the base currency and the US dollar is the quote currency and the sell price is 1.14436. You will note that the figures 4 and 3 are larger than the others. The 3 represents 1 ten thousandths of a US dollar. This is a pip. As a practical example, if we take the buy price of Euro dollar of 1.14450, and subtract the sell price of 1.14436, we get 1.4 pips, which is the spread. The fifth decimal place is a point, but we will come back to that later. Let's look at another example. If we see the price of Euro dollar drop from 1.440 down to 1.1340, we note that it has traveled 100 pips. In the case of currency pairs where the quote currency is US dollar, CAD, New Zealand dollar, Hong Kong dollar, or Australian dollar, 100 pips is the equivalent of one cent, and in the case of the Swiss franc, it is one centime. A pip with these currencies will always be one ten thousandths of the unit currency. But what about currencies where the figures are much larger, like the Japanese yen, where the price is 108 yen to the dollar? Then we consider one one hundredth of a yen to be one pip with the two figures just to the right highlighted. So. If we see the price of dollar yen drop from 108.15 to 107.15, we note the 100 pips is the equivalent of 1 yen. The spread then on dollar yen at this moment would be 1.5 pips. Gold and silver are usually traded against the American dollar and we can consider a pip to be the same as an American cent. So, in the case of XAU USD or gold, where the US dollar is the quote currency at a sell price of 1291.34, we would say that the spread is 18 cents. Most currency pairs are quoted with five decimal places. Don't be confused by this, the pips live here. Most currency pairs have their pips in the fourth decimal place. The yen, gold and silver have their pips in the second decimal place. Points are basically one-tenth of a pip and you will find that the point is used all through your Value Trades MT4 platform. Why? because MT4 reads to the last decimal place in currency pairs. So, for example, when you measure vertical distance with your crosshairs in MT4, you need to mentally remove the figure on the right to give you your pip value. Also, when setting features like the MT4 trailing stop, you will note that the figures are in points. To set this in pips, simply add a zero at the end. The tick, on the other hand, is even smaller than a point and represents the minimum price change of an instrument. Ticks are measured differently between FX, commodities and indices and they are generally not something that the average retail trader needs to worry about. If you are curious, you can see the incremental tick movement simply by opening an MT4 order ticket. That's all for now. Happy trading with Value Trades and we will see you soon. CFDs and FX are leveraged products and your capital may be at risk.